Welcome to this InCAT Vault Introduction PowerPoint. Autodesk Vault is an easy to use and administer data management system for designers and engineers. Now this is meant to manage your work in process day in day out day at data. Now by work in process we're referring to CAD data Microsoft Office data or any other files that a CAD person would want to check in or check out to manage. So Autodesk Vault is meant to be a design management tool for your engineers and designers as a work in process tool. It's integrated directly into the application you're using today and it's intended to organize and allow you to reuse that data more effectively. In addition, Vault will keep that data protected and secured through a, a login and password type system with roles and permissions like many other Microsoft applications. Finally, this is a much easier to use and administer tool than some of the, the higher end MRP, ERP, or larger team applications. Some of the things I typically hear from customers is that they want to use parts of their design without affecting their original, without making changes that could be detrimental to previous designs they've worked on. Many people have a, a hard time finding earlier jobs or earlier data that they know they've created, but just being able to find something that was maybe a year old that was used with a particular company in the past could be difficult. Renaming files used in existing designs can be very tricky through Windows Explorer, especially if we have relationships between files such as XREFs or assemblies that reference parts. Determining if changes will impact earlier designs. This allows us to modify components and see, or people want to be able to see if that change is going to be referenced by earlier designs that have already been completed? Or do they need to pull a new part number for this design change? Finally, some people like to be able to revert back to earlier states of a design, whether it be because of a faulty design change or possible customer requests that may be uh, reverted back to uh, their earlier variation. Some of the top features in Vault 2008 involve being able to find data that you really are looking for through its simple or advanced tools. Once that data is found, being able to copy it for a really efficient design reuse for new jobs based on existing data you have and so forth. Now through day-to-day -day engineering there's always lots of design changes happening. Vault lets us see exactly what will be affected whenever we change any part or assembly in existing designs. If it's used in more than one design, we'll see that immediately. If we do make design changes that we determine aren't in the best interest of our customers or our company, we can revert back to earlier versions of those designs using Vault technology. Now renaming files or editing document properties. Renaming files is something that happens commonly through Microsoft Windows Explorer but often causes a big hassle because it will unlink or break any links between files that have XREFs and AutoCAD or any links between parts, assemblies, and their drawings in an application like Inventor. Renaming files in Vault automatically knows what files reference which and repairs any links between those files so there's never the unresolved XREF or unresolved link between Inventor files. Finally, this gives us a great way to view all the relationships between these files and interrogate the drawings or the solid models themselves and to possibly even measure those without ever cracking open the CAD software itself. The Vault architecture is very simple. It's a simple client server application where the Vault server includes the files themselves that we're checking into it and a database to manage the relationship between those files and to track extra property-based metadata relating to those files. 
the Vault clients cannot directly get at the files without logging into the secure Vault system. Now, in the overall Autodesk data management solution, Vault is a tool that fits into that engineering and design work and process space. So those using AutoCAD or Inventor, they would typically be using Vault for that work and process design work. If that needs to be automatically communicated electronically to other people throughout your company, that's where Autodesk Product Stream starts coming into play. Product Stream is the release management tool that allows the rest of the company to have access to that released data once it's already completed that work and process stage and is being distributed to others in your corporation. In particular, manufacturing, for example, may want to be able to view all the latest effective released data at the latest rev without having to rely on engineering to get them new sets of prints so they can simply pull that up on their viewing station and see the latest effective release that is available to them. And of course we can accelerate purchasing cycles. Sales may need to look at existing data for customer presentations and marketing can take advantage of this in their collateral as well. For those outside of the firewall such as our partners, our vendors, and our customers. We may need to communicate some of this to them without allowing them access inside of our corporate network. And that's where Autodesk's Streamline collaboration tool comes into play that allows us to share aspects of our designs with those external partners of ours. So Vault is the tool that allows us to create our data more effectively where product stream is meant to manage that throughout our enterprise and finally streamline allows us to share that with our external partners at this time please feel free to view the vault and product stream demonstration videos